Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not getting any impressions, you're not getting any clicks. And if you're not getting any clicks, you're not getting any conversions. And if you're not getting any conversions, you're not getting any sales. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get impressions if you have none inside Google Ads. Now, this is a very common problem, even for mature accounts where impressions will nosedive for some odd reason, and then they call us in to fix it. So in today's video, uh, I'm going to be going over many reasons why the account is just not seeing any impressions. And some are really easy, some are not as easy to understand, but I'm gonna try my best to really communicate what I'm talking about to you guys so it's easy to comprehend and you can implement these solutions. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. The number one issue I see inside Google Ads with no impressions is simple, and I'm gonna assume you guys already know this, but a low budget, if you have a budget set to like $3 a day and your normal cost per click is like 20, chances are you're just not gonna see any impressions because Google goes, listen, there's just no ads we can bid on. We're just not gonna bid on anything. Another thing regarding budget is the actual bidding strategy, which to kind of connect it here. What we're gonna do is if we have a bidding strategy like maximize clicks and the account is new and we set our maximum cost per bid limit too low, Google's not gonna be able to bid anything much like the budget area. So we have to increase it. To do that, all we have to do is click on the actual campaign, come over here to more details, click on our bid strategy here, and then come over here to settings and switch it to whatever we like, and then just hit save. By the way, if you're not in the screen, all you have to do is hit appearance. You can use the new design or use the old design. It's up to you. Moving forward, the next thing is inaccurate conversion tracking. Now, this is very common in old accounts that have been running for a long time. The owners get fed up and they go, listen, this is not the results we want. We're not seeing any real leads, but the account says we're getting, you know, hundreds of leads a day and I don't understand why. What has happened is normally the conversion tracking was set up improperly. They're counting page views or counting something that is irrelevant, something like that. And then the owner goes in to the account or the manager goes into the account, changes the conversion action and tries to optimize for something else. The account has no data on that. And then it goes, well, we were getting all this data and now we're getting no data. And it tries to use the same data that it had to optimize and now it's just generating no results. And the AI goes, well, there's just no conversions to be had. I'll just do nothing. And that's what the AI does. And we've seen it so many times in an account where you'll just see 900 conversions like a day because it's all these page views. And then it just flatlines to zero. And then it just stays there for months on end. What you have to do in this scenario, and this is so, so common in accounts, is revert it back to maximize clicks. This way you force Google ads to collect more data. And then once you have 20 to 30 conversions, throw it back into maximize conversions or target CPA. And now it can stop, start optimizing with the new data and it can start getting more impressions, more clicks. And Google's AI essentially feels comfortable again to bid on things as opposed to just getting zero clicks, zero impressions because it doesn't know what to do. And it knows, hey, all this old data that I've been using to optimize with is just not getting me any cl uh, clicks, no conversions. I don't know what to do, so I'll just do nothing. So that's what it does. It just does nothing. Again, throw it into maximize clicks and then throw it into maximize conversions. It will reset everything. It will probably take about a month to do, uh, depending on the amount of conversions you're getting, but it will save you in the long run. It will allow your account to uh, essentially revive itself as opposed to just doing nothing. Now, the next thing is policy violations and essentially overall account health. One of the things I have noticed in Google ads is normally if we go over here to our ad group and normally we could click on our ad, it will come up with status. It may say, policy violation and then you click on it and say hey you got an exclamation mark in here or maybe that we don't like that type of headline you're using what you got to go do is essentially go in there change it and then google will approve the ad and then your account can run this is a very big thing inside google ads they are very very picky with their ads and if they don't like them they're not going to run them this will cause you to have zero impressions overall sometimes google will not share this data with you and in that case, you'll have to get in contact with Google, go to their call line or their you know chat line or whatever it is, contact them and just say, hey, is there any violations with the account? Is there a reason why this isn't running? Normally, they will have that actual data on their side. We've had it where our clients have said, I'm not getting any impressions. We contact Google ads and they're like, oh, yeah, your ad isn't running because of this X, Y, Z. And it's like, that would have been great to know <laughs> like two weeks ago. Um, that's something that's not as common, but it has happened in the past. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, another thing you can do is come up here to tools and settings, come over here to the actual ad and preview uh, setting and diagnosis and essentially type in your ad here. And for this one, we'll just do fiberglass pool installation because it's simple and I know it, but it'll say your ad is not showing and then it will normally list the reason why your ad is not showing. And sometimes this will give you data that the main site here did not give you. So it's something to try. Another thing is the actual account. Google has implemented what is called advertising verification, which is normally down here. 
and for some reason it is just not in this account. I think just because it's a really old account. Uh, but normally it says advertiser verification. If you do not have advertiser verification and Google requires you to have it in 30, I think it's 30 or 60 days. I can't remember off the top of my head. I did an entire video on this. I'll link it up above. If you do not fill out the form and you are not improved in that time frame, Google will suspend everything inside the account and say, you're not running anything until you get verified. Not every account requires advertiser verification, but more often than not, uh, you should just do it because you get access to more ad extensions, which is just nice. And also it doesn't bite you in the long run because if you've had a campaign running for two years and then it just turns off all of a sudden and you have to restart all of that, it's not fun especially if you're getting great results. So I highly recommend if you haven't done it yet, come over here to tools and settings in here. It will say advertiser verification, click on it, fill out the form. Super simple, super easy. Like I said, I'll put it up in the link above. All right. The next thing I see that is very, very common inside Google ads, and it really restricts the amount of search volume you're going to be able to get is the actual match types. Now Google has made match types a lot more lenient, so they're not as strict as they used to be. However, I still see people either using like two keywords, or maybe like five keywords and it's all an exact match and they're very, very long tail keywords. So essentially it's like pool installation near me in Hamilton, Ontario, people looking to buy or something like that. It's a super long word and no one is actually looking for that. And then when they get no impressions and no clicks, they go, well, why am I not getting any clicks? Maybe Google ads is bad. What you need to do in this scenario is click on one of your ad groups, come over here to search keywords and probably change your match type to phrase or broad match. Normally I don't like broad match, especially for lead generation. If you're using e-commerce, broad match becomes more viable. But that being said, uh, I'd probably stick to phrase match as it's a very good balance between too strict and too lenient. So that's my advice there. Another thing I commonly see is the actual audience targeting. So we've seen a couple accounts where, as you can see here, it says audience, and you can adjust this actually at the campaign level. It's better here. Uh, what people will do is they will come over here to edit audience segments. And I like editing at the campaign level. I find it's easier. And what we have is observation mode and targeting mode. Now, normally you want it set to observation mode. And essentially what Google is going to do is just collect a whole bunch of data. And then later on, it will use it to essentially optimize with that being said, some people will click targeting and they will only have one audience segment selected. And maybe there's only like a hundred people in that audience segment. And then there are no impressions whatsoever because Google is restricted to just advertising for this one audience segment. You need to make sure this is an observation mode. If it's not, you're probably not going to see many results, especially if you have low uh, search volume in that specific market segment. Another thing, like I just mentioned is the actual keywords. Um, you should be probably using phrase match for most of these campaigns, maybe a combination of exact match as well. But if you only have a handful of keywords, like three, four, five, uh, chances are you should probably just increase the amount of keywords you're having. That way you have more potential to actually go in and, you know, have your ad display in front of people. How do we find new keywords? Very simple. Come up here to the actual tools and setting button, come over here to the actual keyword planner. I think I already have it up. No, I don't have it up. That's the actual <laughs> diagnosis thing. Come over here to the keyword planner. And what we're going to do is hit discover new keywords, type in, let's do pool installation and then geo modify that for your actual country or area. Uh, you're advertising and make sure it's just for your area you're advertising in. Otherwise the data will be wrong. Then hit get results. And then it will pop up with all of the related keywords we can bid on and the average monthly th search volume, just so we have enough volume to make sure we have enough impressions for a successful account. Now, if we've added more keywords and it's still not really running, we're not seeing many impressions at all. Uh, what we can do is actually opt in to the Google search network, which allows us to display on other networks Google is associated with. So essentially imagine other search engines. We're able to display our ads on there. Uh, Google has partnered with a whole bunch. It's not difficult to actually opt into. Normally these clicks and impressions aren't as valuable as the normal organic Google search engine, just because Google really monitors it uh, as opposed to their partner networks, which they don't monitor as much in my opinion. And uh, it's just another way to get more traffic. So what we can do is come over here, hit networks, hit include in Google search partners, and then hit save. And then this will allow you to pop up for the actual search partners networks. So you can have more people actually uh, see your ads and possibly get more impressions. Don't opt into the display network. It's terrible. I have an entire video on why it's terrible if you want to check it out, but don't opt into that. It's terrible unless you have an actual display campaign. Now, the last two things I would look at is making sure the actual locations and time of day are correct. Uh, I see this a lot where people will only add one area and it'll be like one postal code. And there's like 2000 people in this postal code. And they're like, why am I not getting enough search volume? Like 
I have one, or, you know, a zip code or a postal code or one small city. And it's like only 5,000 people live in the city and you need thousands of search impressions every month. And it's like, that's just not going to happen. Not everyone in the city is looking for it. So you might need to expand the area. And more often than not, a lot of contractors are okay with expanding it by, you know, 10, 15 miles. It's not a really big deal for them. Uh, but that being said, location is a massive player when it comes to search volume. And if you can increase it, you can definitely increase search volume and also generally decrease cost per click, which is really, really nice. Uh, and then the final one is the actual time of day, which is located in the show more button. And then you come down here to add schedule. And uh, this is an indicator of when our ads will run. If we're running only on Monday, if we expanded to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, chances are more potential for our ad to show and we can get better results. To add these, you just click on the button and you can just add more days. We could add Saturday and Sundays here. Very, very simple to do and uh, will help with getting impressions up. So hopefully that has helped with the actual impression problem. If you follow everything there, your ads should be getting impressions. There should be no reason not to. If they're still not getting impressions, I would get in contact with Google immediately because there's probably something wrong on the back end that's just not flagging in your account. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about Google Ads, leave a comment down below. Also, feel free to check out our Google Ads optimization checklist. It's completely free and walks you through what to do on a weekly, monthly, and three-month basis. It also lets you jot down your results. Again, it's nice to have a checklist. Uh, we use it, and it just makes our lives a lot easier, so we don't forget anything. On that, you guys have a wonderful day. I wish you all well, and take care.